Each combat in Firelight Heroes is made up of waves of fighting. To keep the narrative of the game moving, we focus on waves rather than rolling to see every individual hit. Let's look at an example. Let's throw Bramante against three bandits, Razor Ryla and her goons. To begin, we'll build the dice pools for each side. We learned in the last video that Bramante has two heroic action dice, D8s, and two weapon dice, D10s. Razor Ryla has 2D6 for her main dice and 2D4 for her weapon dice. Her goons are just dumb meat though, so we'll only give them a D4 each. We start with the action phase. This is where our heroes get to use their heroic actions to do cool things that help turn the tides of battle. Once all the heroic actions are resolved, we can move into the battle phase. All remaining dice in both pools are rolled. Bramante got a 3, an 8, and a 4 for a total of 15, while the goons got a 1 and a 4 for a total of 5. The goon who rolled a 1 is killed regardless of the outcome of the battle. Bramante rolled the higher total, so he wins the battle phase. If you thought that was interesting, check out the full video on our channel.